We're back. Round four consensus ADP player that you are avoiding, Dan Titus, is Twitter's favorite wide receiver, Malik <laughs> Neighbors. Uh, tell me why you're <laughs> tell me why you are not drafting Malik Neighbors this year. Uh, and do it without saying the words Daniel Jones. Can't do yeah. it. Can't do it. <laughs> you, you get the theme of my uh, of my bust uh, campaign here, and it's all quarterback centric for the most part. And I'm so glad that you called it out on that. That I'm seeing all this Malik Neighbors X on, on my my X feed. It's just crazy. Like this is the best wide receiver that I can ever re- imagine. But like. I'll give him credit. Like, he looks great in the preseason. The problem is is Daniel Jones. Like, he looks terrible. Doesn't look good in the preseason. (laughs) (laughs) He looks awful. Like, he's so mid. Like, I can't – I don't understand. Like, I I understand why Twitter is excited about it. They love the young, new, shiny toy of Malik Neighbors. But, like, when was the last time the Giants offense supported a 1,000-yard receiver? Do you remember? What year was it? Probably Odell Beckham, like, one of those seasons. Yeah, it was like 2018. So you mean to tell me six years ago they had a, a good wide receiver? I'm sorry. Until you get a real quarterback in that in that QB room, I'm out on every Giants wide receiver. And like, especially in the fifth, uh, was it the fourth round? That's crazy. Like, I, I even if he gets a Garrett Wilson like target share, he still has a Zach Wilson throwing to him or a Trevor Simeon or whoever else you want to throw in there. Like the touchdown equity just isn't going to be there. So like I'm, there's going to be so many of those days where you're going to have those four for 37, five for 38, like, and then you'll have like the boom game. But like for the most part, come on guys, you can do better than that. Uh, I think it's a little bit too early on neighbors, mainly because he's attached to Daniel Jones. Look, man, um, I thought one of the best, you know, as like you said, people are popping off about Malik Neighbors. Every fantasy analyst has probably told you by now that he was targeted on 30% of the routes he ran uh, in the most recent Giants preseason game. You know, he had a couple of great catches. Those are going to happen. He's going to get a ton of targets. There are going to be great catches. I thought this note from Josh Norris uh, when talking about, like, as, as Daniel Jones is throwing his second interception of the day against the Houston Texans in preseason. <laughs> second interception in preseason. Uh, you know, he just said, look, I love Malik Neighbors, but this is a concern uh, and the motive that Josh has behind, quote, draft good players on good teams. Josh said, I had to scroll down to the wide receiver 29 in points per game last season to find the first wide receiver who played in an offense that was bottom seven in touchdowns scored. Do you think the Giants are going to not be in the bottom seven in touchdowns scored with Daniel Jones at quarterback? Yeah, like 100%. And and look, like I have Malik Neighbors ranked a little bit ahead of his ADP right now, which is wide receiver 24. Um, be, because I'm a little bit more of, look, he's going to have these big weeks. And it's we do have to account for the upside of of him as a, a player overall. And I do think, Dan, the thing that gets me not completely out on neighbors is just that I think the floor will be pretty high based on how he's going to be used. I think they're going to get him so many design touches, but – there's just going to be an enormous amount of meat on the bone uh, left this year. So I think neighbors can be a boom bust wide receiver too. But if you go into the fourth round and you don't want to, you want to click on one of these Texans wide receivers ahead of Malik neighbors. I think that's totally fine. You want to click on shoot DJ Moore in a crowded, uh, in a crowded wide receiver room that with a quarterback who looks great, you want to take, um, you know, I, I don't know, like even a Zay. I'm not. I don't have Zay Flowers ranked ahead of Malik Neighbors, but if you want to take him, you know, he's attached to the reigning MVP at quarterback. I, I think that's fine too. So I kind of can see either argument with Malik Neighbors. Uh, I do have him ranked a little bit ahead of ADP, but I mean, look, like the fact that Daniel Jones is the quarterback here, that is just going to put such a hard ceiling on where he can fly this year. Yeah, and and I think you said it best. Like I feel like it's at this point, it's not the talent and what neighbors can do. I trust Brian Dable will scheme up something to get the ball in his hands. I just can't ignore the fact that Daniel Jones has not supported a wide receiver one or even a wide receiver two in his, in his reign at quarterback there. Um, I think Kenny Galladay had the most, or maybe even Darius Slayton, the, the most he's ever had is like 750 yards. Like that can't, no, in the fifth round, no, 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 no. Or fourth round, excuse me. No, that's not, that's not going to happen. So I believe in the talent, don't believe in the quarterback at the helm. Good luck to you if you want to draft him, but I agree with the people that are going around, the players that are going around him, I'd much rather prefer buying into a Texan offense, 
buy into a Chicago ascending offense. Don't buy into the bottom feeding Giants who are going to be arguably one of the worst teams in the NFL. Yeah, like any amount of, man, look at the sick Malik neighbors catcher. Man, look at how many targets per route run he got. Those are things we should have already assumed. That moves me 0%. Like, show me Daniel Jones playing (laughs) quarterback well over like a four or five game stretch, which you're just not going to see until the regular season. So uh, maybe we, like I said, I, I can take a little bit of Malik neighbors here, but he's certainly not one of my favorite picks in the fourth round or anything like that.